Hey guys, my name is Skelly Sons. Um, this video, I don't know. <laughs> so, I was gonna be using Camtasia Studios. This is just a 30 day free trial, guys. I don't know. <laughs> Today, I wanna show you how to make a GIF <sighs> using Viral Packa here and uh, two websites. First, you wanna go to uh, whatever you use um, and just look up some pixel GIFs um, if you're making pixels, for example, and just look up some freaky deaky. Um, you know, some stuff that can inspire you to what to make, right? Like this one, it's kind of cute. Him putting on the bra, like the movie. Got the, got the Totoro, stuff like that. Like, I always look up gifts, like you saw Skull, because I made another Skull one <laughs> that you can see on my Tumblr. Like, stuff like this can, like, inspire you, like, to make something, unless you have, like, what's in your mind right now, what to make. So, uh, I'm gonna choose an image, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this one's pretty cool. Not really just the gift part of it, just more of the style of it. So let's go for like a spooky ghost like this. So let's exit that out and open Feral Packa. So I usually do for 200 by 200 because uh, if I zoom in, I can see the pixels, which that's not pixel brush at all. But as you guys can see, like you can see the one by one pixel very well and it's prominent. So that's why I do 200 by 200. Uh, but you can do any size you want. I just don't recommend really big ones unless you're doing like pixel art, but this one is the best for just uh, pixel gifts. So let's start with a spooky ghost. So just do a random outline. You can um, draw one half and then of course flip it and then make it so it's asymmetrical. Again, the more black and white ghost pixel. Guys, okay, sorry, I'm not the best. I'm not on a tablet. I'm using my mouse cursor because those things are actually very really expensive. Also, I have no money. So. <laughs> so here's your ghost. Okay, that's pitch black. <laughs> um, just remember, uh, if you're using pixels, never use the eraser tool. Just do this on pixel, because then um, it's easier to just do that. So. And make sure if you're going to use the bucket tool a lot, make sure you have expand pixel at zero. So as you guys can see, this ghost is pretty lopsided. So we're going to go with two and fix them up a little bit. So you can do whatever with your ghost. I'm gonna give him a frilly tail or whatever to look spooky. I don't know, people add like curls to things. It doesn't make it look spooky. <laughs> Makes it Burton. So you can really do this on any program, to be honest. Um, I just use Spiral Packa because it's the easiest thing to do for artists. And that's why I like Spiral Packa. Because like, I'm okay with like going in like this and not having um, rotation. I like making things even though. I'm doing pixel art, so it just looks a little bit more kind of attractive in a way. Okay guys. So I'm gonna kind of finish this guy off, rounding him off, and then I will uh, show you guys how to do the details. Okay. So now we have this thing, <laughs> which is very uh, weird. <laughs> so with this, we are going to add details like a face and stuff like that. So I like doing it on the other layer. So we're gonna go in with white and face. I feel like that's kind of Ooh, there you go, there's a new pookie man. Eyeball. This will be your friend, especially on fire pack. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, that's good. It's good. But it's creepy. There you go. Okay, let me put this. So, like, see, I like having this clear, and then I can zoom in and see all the dots, right? So, there. Perfect. So, now time to do the animation for this guy, which is going to be kind of awkward. Okay, so we're going to go to view onion skin mode. This is how I animate my stuff, or make it a goof. Make it a goof! So you just do this and just press have the mouse tool ready and you can move it around. I wouldn't say go like that at all. <laughs> um, I would say kind of keep it um, very nonchalantly moving around. Like, I wish I could do a gif like that, but that would take forever. That's how weird I am. It's like zooming in and going like that. With this guy, yeah, I'm gonna have him move around. That kind of looks really cool. Let me see. Uh, let's try 20, 12 amps. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm good. Oh, that's awesome. So here you go. That's how you make a GIF. So after you have this done, usually I'll have like YouTube or something in the background here. Make a new folder. For this, I'm just going to call it uh, spoop. Or just call it poop, you know. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. Okay. So export files. 
if you, if you want to make it transparent, make sure the background is transparent. And no. I think I'll do another video right after this one showing you how to do like lots of backgrounds. It's basically just you do the same thing. But so we're not going to save it, don't need it. So now you have this. Now you want to open up this again. So for websites, you either want to go to easygift.com. This is the best for transparent, for ones with backgrounds. Uh, Alpaca Doug, I'm just going to call it Doug. Alpaca Doug is the best. This is um, from Fire Alpaca itself. I'll put them in the link down below. But let's go with a transparent background. So go with Gift Maker and upload your images. So images and upload. Now, as you guys can see, make sure you don't stack the frames because if you do, it does stuff that's weird. And make sure this is like two. <laughs> okay, so this is what the final effect is on two. I love this. Okay, so we're gonna save it. Save it as spooky oh okay <laughs> and there you go now it is saved so as you guys can see this is a very simple gift especially transparent one because you don't have to do anything there you guys go so i hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna go and edit this and probably make a new video but thank you all so much uh please check this out on my tumblr thank you guys for watching bye